y'all what's up my name is kelly marie i am an nlp certified business mindset coach and today we are talking about five mindset tips to living a better life i turned 31 this year and i really wanted to do a series where i did like my 31 life lessons for 31 years and because i have all of these nuggets that i'm like i wish i would have had these nuggets a little sooner and life would have been like way easier if you're watching this video and you're in your 40s or 50s please do me a favor and drop like two or three life nuggets in the comment section below because the girls in our 30s we need them if you're in your 30s please drop some life nuggets below please for the ladies in their 20s because they need it okay i needed it when i was in my 20s and i didn't even know i needed it until it was too late <laughs> like i had no idea um but i want to give you these five mindset tips to a better life because these are things that really affected my business and my business relationships and just when i got these things it made me realize a lot more about myself and it made it a lot easier for me to deal with entrepreneurship i became a full-time business owner when i was 23 so there was not many years where I worked for somebody else and I did not have a job in high school. I've been a full-time entrepreneur longer than I've been in the work field. I've been a full-time entrepreneur longer than I've worked for anybody else. I do still work on teams right now. I'm not just a solopreneur. I've had employees before. I've had a team of two before. And I also work with you know clients who have teams. So I definitely still get like the maybe not the corporate culture because i never worked in corporate but i definitely still understand like the team culture and like toxic and healthy work environments like i still get all of those experiences and so i wanted to take some time to just share like five mindset tips for living a better life okay five of them so the first one is positivity okay find positivity in everything uh this is one that has taken me a really long time because when i was in my 20s i was a complainer okay i complained about everything if somebody got on my nerves i'm complaining about it i go to the store walmart it's not enough cashiers i'm complaining about it i have worked very very hard to be the most positive person in the room it doesn't matter if the building is burning down i'm like well at least we're not on fire not just for you but also for the people around you especially if you are a leader you want to make sure that people know that simply by being attached to you life has a better outlook and that comes from you finding positivity in every single moment by the way being the positive person does not mean that i don't also feel negative emotions it does not mean that i'm always happy and i don't cry it doesn't mean that i don't have bad days it just means that i choose to focus on the good okay i choose to focus on the good and you should too so number two the second mindset tip for living a better life is assume that you're going to win but prepare like you're going to lose this one right here y'all assume that you're going to win prepare like you're going to lose when i tell y'all i could write a book on a champion's mindset the mindset of a goat i am put a goat on the front the mindset of a goat i don't care what nobody says about me i don't have no awards it ain't no accolades on my wall i ain't even finna co finish college guess what i'm still a goat okay it's all up here you know when you're the when you are a champion you have a champion's mindset you have a winning mindset i almost named this the five tips of a winning mindset but i was like that's not searchable but listen you know when you're the baddest it don't matter what nobody says right but i'm assuming i'm going to win and i'm walking in that winner energy i'm walking in that winner energy and when you walk in that energy and you show up in that energy and you run your business with that energy and every single room you enter into people can feel that on you they're like man she gonna make it happen i'm still coming with a you know i'm still gonna be a forever learner i'm still going to show up to class i'm still gonna pay for conference tickets and sit in rooms and i'm gonna listen to people and even if somebody is teaching something that i feel like i already know i'm still going to the class as a jesus follower especially as a child of god I know no matter what situation I get put into, I'm going to come out where I need to be at. It may not say winner, but I'm a winner. I may play second, I'm still a winner. 
I may not even I may not even place. They may do the raffle and they don't even pull my name out the bag. I'm still a winner. That mindset is gonna put you in as a winner. That's why there are a lot of people who are entrepreneurs, like people that work at other companies or people who work on teams that are natural leaders and they don't have to have the title of a leader but they're gonna lead anyways. And that may be you. You watching this and you saying, that's me. I don't have the title. They don't always give me the title. They don't always give me the accolades. But if I do something in the office, everybody's gonna do what I'm doing. Or if I do something in my industry, everybody's gonna stop and look at me. But they don't have to give me the title. They don't have to give me an accolade. You don't need the external recognition, boo. You don't need an external validation. You already validated. God validated you, period. What more validation do you need? None. You don't need none, okay? So that's number two. The third mindset tip for a better life is to say this to yourself. You're going to say this to yourself every single day. Defeat is not an option. And what you recognize when you decide that defeat is not an option and losing is not an option, you leave every single situation as a winner. Because you either won and people recognize you as a winner or you didn't win, but you got the lesson and the lesson is worth more than the recognition. You either win and people see you as the winner and you get the recognition or you didn't win. People do not see you as the winner, but you left with a lesson and the lesson is more valuable than the recognition. The lesson you learn from not winning, not winning in public view is always more valuable than the actual recognition that you got because you take the lesson and you use the lesson to leverage a bigger opportunity y'all know what i'm talking about because somebody is watching this and they saying boo listen i know because i thought i was a loser but i learned the lesson and i took the lesson and leveraged it for a bigger opportunity and now what i have is more than what I ever could have gotten where I was before. And now what I have is twice as much as what I thought I had missed out on. Now what I have is three times as more as what I thought I missed out on. Defeat is not an option. It's not. Look for the lessons. Number four, the fourth mindset tip for a better life is whatever situation you walk into, know you were made for it, don't doubt it. Do whatever you can to eliminate doubt doubt comes from the devil doubt is not of god doubt is a byproduct of fear the only fear you should have is fear of god but there should never be any doubt there so anytime that you come into a situation where you are feeling doubt know that it is not of god that at its source it is not from him and do every single thing that you can to eliminate that doubt if you have to do a 10 minute Bible meditation, do it. If you have to drink two cups of water, do it. If you got a, uh, if your doubt is literally building up in your body and causing a holdup of kinetic energy, which then manifests into anxiety because it happens. Doubt is such a strong emotion that if you hold it in for a long time, it can literally build up into physical energy. And you start doing things like jittering and tapping, biting on your nails, um, sweaty palms. If you're experiencing that level of doubt, it helps to do a physical activity to exert the energy from the, your body because the energy literally needs to leave your body. So sometimes that means I'm feeling doubt, I'm gonna do 10 jumping jacks. Or I'm feeling doubt, I'm gonna do a lap around the building. Like, I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna do a lap around the building. I'm feeling doubt, I'm gonna do um, five push-ups, or I'm gonna do 10 body weight squats to exert the energy. But do whatever you can be hyper aware of the feeling of doubt and do whatever you can to intentionally release the doubt. Number five, my last mindset tip for a better life is to make daily deposits into other people's lives. Now, a lot of people think mindset, it's internal, it's me, I can do this on my own. Not quite, because that's not really how God made us, okay? God made us to be interconnected with other people and to exist as one part of a larger body. And so if we're looking at it in terms of how am I really going to to adjust my mindset to step into who God is calling me to be and be the leader that God is calling me to be, because all of you guys are leaders, okay? You're leaders and you started at the end of the pack because you're a woman of color. Do you understand that, right? Like, there is a large disparity 
between the opportunities that are available to you and the opportunities that are available to other people so knowing that you are in a race you started on the last at the at the back of the race and you may even have to run an extra lap understand that you are going to need to be connected and interconnected with other people in order to get ahead okay and that's why i said making daily deposits into other people's lives not just withdrawals but making daily deposits into other people's lives because a lot of us see getting ahead as making withdrawals i'm gonna get this from you and this from you and this from you and this from you and this from you like no making daily deposits you never know when you're going to need someone, when someone's going to need you to come through for them, when you're going to need to lean on someone or collaborate with someone, you never know. So what you need to do is make sure that every single day you are giving something to someone. If that's five minutes of your time, if that's a listening ear, if that is a, a, a 10 minute consultation, if that is a sliding in someone's DMs and saying, I really liked your content today. I just went and liked your last five posts and I left some comments because I just want to push you up in the algorithm. Just letting you know, I love what you're doing. Like, and not in a salesy way, not in a, I'm going to immediately sell you in the next 24 hours or next 10 minutes or whatever, but just being intentional about depositing positivity positive energy and expectationless good energy into other people that's what it is it's expectationless without expectation of reciprocity even if you don't make not another dollar you're gonna feel so much better things are gonna just start happening for you i can't even say not if you make another dollar right because there are so many other ways to measure success outside of how much money is in your bank account. Baby, it's a whole nother video coming out of me right now. There's so many ways to measure success outside of how much money is in your bank account. But if you start making daily deposits into other people's lives without the expectation of reciprocity, your life is immediately going to go up a couple of notches. People are going to look at you different. People are going to speak your name in rooms that you've never been in. People are going to recommend you and they've never even worked with you before. They're going to recommend you. And there is going to start to be this air around you like, man, there's just something about that girl. She's just, I don't know, man, just something about her. And it's going to start to create this magnetic personal brand that is just irresistible. Whether it means irresistible to a client, irresistible to a collaboration, irres irresistible to a big brand or a big personality wanting to work with you or you getting opportunities and getting your foot into rooms that you never thought you would be in. It is going to turn you into a magnet for abundance. So that is my fifth tip. That is all I have for y'all today. I hope to see y'all again in another video soon. Bye y'all. See you later.